Excuse the interruption, but this is a three-minute news flash from the CSULA Golden Eagle Radio University Times Newsroom. Your voice, your radio. For GER News, I'm Al Castro, and these are the latest headlines. If news commentators, pundits, and even Donald Trump are to be believed, then former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton did what she needed to do at the first Democratic debate in Las Vegas to pull ahead of the pack. They say she successfully contrasted herself to her main contender, Senator Bernie Sanders, allayed donor fears she was no longer viable, and thus made it more difficult for Vice President Joe Biden to decide whether he should enter the race at this late stage to oppose her. Former Secretary Clinton's next hurdle is when she testifies later this month before the Congressional House Select Committee on Benghazi. To have or have not, to be or not to be, that is the question. Now that the gavel of the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives is Paul Ryan's to have or have not, he sits on a fence during this congressional recess to decide what to do. The Wisconsin hamlet of the Potomac must now decide what kind of relationship he wants with his fellow Republicans if he refuses. At the risk of accepting the speakership, he must also decide what kind of political career he wants now that it may not include one day the presidency of the United States. As the VW scandal continues to widen, state attorneys general all over the country are now opening civil and criminal probes. More customers continue to file class action lawsuits while thousands of new cars banned from sale clutter seaports and car lots. After its North American chief resigned after just three weeks on the job, all of Volkswagen's business practices are now coming into question. If the California Coastal Commission has its way, SeaWorld Entertainment will have to get out of the business of harvesting and breeding orca whales forever in California. The commission approved SeaWorld's plan to expand its killer whale fish tank, but only for the whales it presently has at its San Diego Park in captivity, not for the whales from anywhere else or bred in the future and forever. And finally, regardless of your physical abilities, here's something for all of you to think about the next time you ever decide to drink and drive. A Florida man was held on a $5,000 bond after being arrested for felony DUI while using his motorized wheelchair. Ronnie Scott Hicks was charged with blocking several lanes on a Brevard County bridge with his wheelchair while having alcohol on his breath. It was not known if he actually used the car anywhere in his long DUI arrest record. This has been the three-minute news flash from the CSULA Golden Eagle Radio News, your voice, your radio, hashtag we are GER. For GER News, I'm Al Castro. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned.